Well, Megan and Harry and their baby could not be happier. Yeah. She cried a She's little. She's certainly not happy. Uh, she cried a little, but you know what? When that, you're talking about the one that she had. She said, "I'm thank you for asking me how I am. Nobody ever does yeah. that one. Yeah. You being an old friend of hers. I am an old friend, yeah. And you used to roll the silverware together at <laughs> Mirabelle. We, that's exactly what we did, actually. Every night we'd roll silverware together. And, and now talk she about rolls life. her baby in a blankie. I know. I know. Um, how happy is she that she got out of the boring Christmas activities? It's just them and the mom. They just Coming to, to LA, right? Are they coming to LA too That's what on I top heard. of it? I think they came to LA for Thanksgiving. Oh, what a treat. Yeah. Not so. to be around the, the Fergie problems. Oh my God. You know what's going on with that, right? Well, not Fergie. Fergie no, is the, standing the, by Prince her Andrew. man. Yeah. Prince Andrew. Fergie's standing by her man. According... Have you seen the latest picture to come out? They found a picture. I don't know of how. What? Of of uh, a party that he threw a couple of years ago. And in the it's a picture of him with uh, Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein, all of them in one picture. Can you please pull up that? Yeah, photo? pull up the photo and and the girlfriend. I, I, but it ends at a, at his party, Prince Andrew's party. So he had everybody there. You know, it would be amazing the... if someone took that photo and then just like photoshopped like their ex boyfriend or someone they hate, like their ex husband, right. yeah, and yeah. sent that out, <laughs> out as their out card. With. Yeah, sent that out as their Christmas card. Yeah, should have known. Have you seen the latest? Have you did you see that video of uh, Harvey Weinstein getting taken from one in the in the handcuffs? He looks really old and what he's got to arrest, getting arrested again. Yeah, he was, I don't know it was something he was going into a courthouse for some reason, but I think the, that was the, a moment when he was doing he came to some comedy club and that female, oh, comedian, female comedian was like, yeah. "Why is no one talking about this?" I know. Good for her. It was kind of good, yeah. And also it was weird that they, like he was sitting like at a VIP table and everyone was like on his side. They were like, "Shut up, shut up to the woman." And yeah. It, it was the whole thing was just kind of strange. Like stay the fuck home. Like why are you still, still going out? Especially like comedy clubs. It's just so weird. Nicest guy in the world. Tip me 20%. Okay. Yeah. I Did that's, I tell you? That's why people the act. The night. Yeah. The night that, uh, uh, shit, what's his name? The guy who, uh, Phil Spector. The night Phil Spector went and shot that girl in the face. But wait, this is, who is this person? That's though? the girlfriend of him. Remember, she's the one who everyone's saying it recruited recruited a lot of the young girls. Of Epstein. This is yeah. Maxwell, Epstein, yes. but and it's, Harvey. But it's Prince Andrew's party. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, my God. His party. At that party. That's who he had at the party. So Prince Andrew, Fergie, when they were together, and the two, Beatrice and B-Twin or whatever. Her yeah. Name is. One's Beatrice, one's something else. Anyway, let me quickly tell my story. Yes. Phil sorry. Spector. Meets that girl, House of Blues. She's a she's a hostess, House of Blues. Yeah. F- uh, Phil Spector says, you know, come back to my house, blah, blah, blah. Comes down the street to Mirabelle Restaurant where I'm working. I'm bartending. Gets a Diet Coke, tips me $20, and leaves. Goes home and shoots that girl. That the Phil night. Phil Spector story. Phil Spector gave me 20 And I bucks. told you that um, that same, that girl was a friend of my friend, and she came see me perform in the belly room. The girl who's, who she was, was shot. shot. Yeah. She that, wanted to start to do comedy because she was forty. She was and working still at House very of Blues pretty, the Lonnie, yeah. Lana. Yeah, and she was like kind of funny and was like, "Okay, I got to start doing something else." Yeah, and she did like to sing, and she probably thought this guy's going to help my career. Oh boy, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, just thought that that's the Prince Andrew picture with now with Epstein so, and anyway. Fergie says that their bond is even stronger now as Andrew continues to spiral over his sword friendship with known pedophile, plus accusation that he had sex with the underage girl. Okay, we know that. Have you seen the Jeffrey Epstein Christmas tree ornament? Yes. It doesn't hang itself. I love oh, all of them. it's so funny. All of them I love. Yeah. Um, a true and real gentleman is what she said on Instagram, Fergie. Adding, I am with him every step of the way. Well, you divorced him uh, uh, many all, years ago. We all saw when your toes were being sucked by yeah. that other guy. Um, she said, Those around Andrew are determined to keep it that way. Members of the palace are well aware that Fergie is someone they need to keep on board. However, they said that um, uh, Fergie has also been privy to all of Andrew's financial decisions, which means she could potentially speak to the recent allegations that he exploited his role as the UK trade he's envoy. Out. He's so out he's of already, the family He's completely. in trouble with something that. Yeah. But, so will he be at Christmas? No. He's already been, he's already been excommunicated from the, from the family. Yeah. 
anyway, but they now they say, um, according to the royal commentators, Fergie and Andrew will eventually be pushed out of the royal family over the embarrassment that Andrew has caused. He had to step down in disgrace. It's essential they be iced out. The insider says Charles has already quietly started the process asking wife Camilla to steer clear of Fergie. Why Camilla doesn't approve of Fergie and Andrew's connection to Epstein, she and Fergie remain friends. Since the scandal, Charles has warned his wife to distance herself. So, um, wait, what did the Beatrice have her wedding yet? Oh, no, I don't think that so. That could be really awkward. Yeah. We're going to look that up. Okay, let's move on. Hold on, let me go back to my thing here that we've got all this stuff going on. R. Kelly happened. <sighs> yeah, still happening. Did you see this? Something came out about that he it had gotten was a fake. Proven that he, it got, was proven that got he fake got ID a fake for ID for Aaliyah a, to marry her before yeah. she brought too much luggage on that small plane. Yeah, she told him, yeah, one and then more she suitcase. Died. Yeah, too much yeah. luggage. Yeah. He yeah. married. Yeah, I'm so glad that got proven. The person yeah. and that's the person who sold it or something. And she was like 15 or something at the time, and yeah, took him a long time to get to the bottom of that Hold one. On, where? Wait, I'm confused now. Where I am here? Where did now? I what is he? Album? Oh, sorry. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Um, okay, let me get back to some of this stuff. Um. Oh, we know we talked about this. It was a big. Casey story. Kasem. Yeah, yeah, Casey Kasem. And I talked about that story. So that that finally got settled. Let's talk about the Peloton oh, ad. Oh, yeah. This is. So I'm reading about the Peloton ad while I'm in Mexico. And you watch it. You you finally. No, I finally watched watch it yesterday. Commercial. Yeah. But before I was like, I didn't realize people. I thought they it was true that they really did a commercial about a girl going from 118 to 112 pounds. But that was just someone's like Twitter joke that yeah. I misread. Yeah. So then Kelly and I watched it. And I, I mean, so bad with it. I didn't think it was so, so bad. So did I. I watched it. I'm like, oh, all right, it's kind of a Christmas commercial. I feel bad for the guy now that did plan on buying his wife a Peloton I bike know. for twenty five hundred dollars, which are amazing. Right. And now he's like, oh fuck, like I can't give it to her. Yeah, I cannot believe how much like heat this is getting because I watched the commercial. And I'm like, first of all, I think it's like a pretty good gift to get on Christmas. And it's it, amazing. Secondly, I don't think it's saying you're fat, work out. It's just like. This is it's a good gift. You did you you asked me for it, a Peloton. Listen, I think it would be wrong to give it to someone in your life who hasn't worked out for ten years. Okay, and that's your spouse, and you're on the verge of divorce. Right, and you're like, hey, honey, you know, no. But if your wife is fit, which I think it's good that she was already fit. Uh-huh. And you know that she likes to go to spinning classes, and now you're like, it's snowing out. You don't have to leave. Right. But what about giving her sneakers? Like, isn't that the same thing? I mean, I think, like, I, I, wanted, I wanted a dust buster one Christmas. <laughs> I really did. Like, they never really worked. They were, we have a version of it, a which one? I love, that's charging. Okay. And it can be a bigger vacuum, or it can be like a little thing. Yeah. And I wanted it. Does it? And does I it, loved does it, it. Does it have a, a good suction? Can it yes. pick up a Cheerio? Because yes. I remember there were a lot of them couldn't even get a no, Cheerio. No, but I, I love that. I love cleaning the kitchen and grabbing that and doing like just a couple little things that okay. happened. And so, I'm lucky to get anything. So, so you I, got. So you got that, and, and people would say that was like Peter's way of saying clean up. You know, be a better wife look i think everyone should ask for what they want right in in a marriage i think you should say hey you you're you're into getting gifts some people aren't you're into getting gifts here's five things any of these or all of them i'd be thrilled here's the bag the color here's the exercise bike here's whatever right here's a piece of jewelry i'd really like some diamond hoops yeah spell it out <laughs> And if you don't spell yeah. it out and you open no gifts that day, then don't cry to me. Have, yeah, okay. And don't ruin your kid's day because the husband didn't get you something good. It's not about you at 45. I think Peloton, This now everybody's going to buy Pelotons this Christmas. I think this works in their favor. I th- I do too. Yeah. And, and, and they, everyone's going to post them on Instagram. And, and they, they just did one where the wife gave, gives one to the man. 
Oh, of and course. And he's all yeah, excited. Yeah, right. So that was part of the already plan. And then she, of course, did this other ad. With uh, Ryan Reynolds. With the gin. Yeah, this yeah. is a safe place with you. Brilliant. Right. I'm yeah. glad they're getting work TMZ out of it. TMZ is like following her everywhere now. I've saw and like then the five husband, days. he did a, an interview for Good Morning America, the guy who played the- and oh, really? Like, you know, I'm getting death threats. I can't get leave my house. And, oh, Jesus, you know, like, really? I was just, first of all, again. Death threats. I know. Shut up about your death Everybody threats on Twitter. Everybody gets them. I know. That is not a real death no. threat. Not, not one person has been killed via Twitter, I don't the think. The FBI does not need to spend time yeah. on the girl that wrote the actor on the Peloton ad a death threat from her computer in Oklahoma. Yeah, exactly. We have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, go after Lori Loughlin. Let, let me tell you what you can do. You just block them. Yeah. They can never give and you another death threat you. again. They can't see that you have yeah. a new commercial coming out. Seriously. Yeah, Timberlake. We, we did talked that about one. the Timberlake. Yeah. Um, oh, we talked about the Uber driver yesterday. I, I mentioned a little bit about this. So she goes, my Uber driver just charged me $30. says Bethany Frankel. Told my daughter she couldn't play the ukulele in the car. What the hell is that? You can, you not play the ukulele, please. Very early. No ukulele. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We're paying for this Uber. My daughter needs no, to practice. No, 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 no. You pay for a quiet ride. Don't pay for ukulele ride. It's very early for ukulele. Excuse me, sir. What is your name? Oh, it's on my app. Anyway, yes. I am going to leave you a very discerning <laughs> description <laughs> and a mean tweet. Got it? I got it. Go, bye bye. Get out. Go sell your fucking margarita, skinny bitch. <laughs> wow. My opinion was anybody can say whatever they want. It's their car, it's their yeah. business. Get the fuck out. Stop talking on the phone. Don't smoke. You're it's too almost, drunk. Yeah. They have the right to drop you off. It's not your right as a customer. Right. So, same way I feel about the planes. Fucking yeah. walk straight. Don't turn your head. Don't ask for a cup of water until they give you a water. If they tell you your bag needs to go up, you better put your bag up. Oh, you mean like to be on the airplane? Yeah, I know everybody. Like, it yeah. is not a free world on the airplane. No, it's 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 you, federal of, of crime. They just just don't get thrown. Don't get <laughs> when thrown. When they drag that, that poor that poor guy off the plane, that poor doctor, Asian guy. <laughs> that was a good story. Yeah. They pulled him off. Why? He didn't want to move his seat or something? No, because they, they said, you know, they he was already on the plane sat. They said they put it bringing someone else on. So he's got to get off. And he's like, no. <laughs> and the worst part was like his shirt came up. And they're like, oh, the poor old guy's guts hanging out. <laughs> well, that was the only other worst story I ever heard. That was Fortune's story. Fortune. They were in first class and then Fortune moved them. Yeah. and her girlfriend were in first class. They were told they got first class, and it was Fortune's birthday. Oh, my and God. And she wrote to her mother. She said, it's the greatest birthday ever. We have, and they were going a really far place. Where were they going? Italy. From oh New York God. to Italy or something. First class. They're looking at the menu. They're deciding, ooh, you should get the chicken, and I should get this appetizer, and you should get that appetizer. Yeah. And, oh, this is going to be so great. And they're drinking their water, and they said, the girl came up and said, sorry, you need to leave. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. Why didn't you just pull the lesbian card? Of course. But oh, they, my God. Yes, you could have sued but the But she also thought, you can't really fuck around. The flight's about to take yeah. it off. If I throw a fit, we may not get on this flight at all, miss our hotel reservation. So what, did they have someone else just come sit there? Yeah, they said, you can take your waters, but you have two minutes to pack up your stuff and leave. And head back to coach. Oh, that's I mean, the well, worst. Don't ever let me. Just yeah. the fact that they let them even see it. Yeah. That's that's sad. Elizabeth Smart's dad is yeah out, divorced, gay. He recently did an interview on uh, CBS this morning with Gail oh. King. I I listened to it yesterday, and he you know he's 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 gay and he's upset about the wife. He's upset that he hurt the wife with his gay. And but I I, I mean but I all... feel for him and I feel for the fact that he was raised this way and the church told him that he couldn't be that way. Right. That's why he married this woman without her knowing that he was gay. That's why he had the kids because he still felt it was his duty to give her children and have sex with her. And can you imagine how many times she was just confused by him? Right. Wondering, did I do something wrong? Did he not like the lamb chops I made? Yeah, like what yeah, yeah. was it? And 
it's just really sad. I, and I hope she can find someone who's straight. And yeah. I hope that. Well, I mean, at this point, they're a little older. So so what? You could yeah. find love. No, I'm saying age. she could definitely find love. I but... hope that she can find love with someone that, you know, is not gay. Right. Um, But do, do you all. Now, let me float a theory by you. And yes. this might be a controversial theory. OK. Do you believe the fact that he was gay and closeted was one of the reasons why he was hiring male handymen to come and work on his home? That's who abducted Elizabeth Smart was a male handyman that he had hired to come over for free and work on his roof. Do you think it was like his way of getting a look at a fella, you know, out up on the roof with no shirt on? I'm being serious. First of all, there's a couple things about that story. Okay. Because who hires? I believe the man that was on the roof was dressed as Jesus and not (laughs) when Jesus was crucified, when Jesus was preaching. So, hence, he'd have, like, a long gown on, which he, also would make it very hard to be a roofer. But, yeah, but no, I yeah. don't think then he's, his biceps were glistening in the sun. But this guy used to hire, like, however, like homeless handymen to come he, over his house. You might be right about that, but the story I remember is it was, in fact, her who, the mom, who hired him. But he was begging, and she's like, do you do any work? We actually need a roofer. Well, yeah. And so oh, I, I think didn't they hear, both I, did it. Yeah. I think they both did that as a Christian thing. You know, don't give them the fish, teach them how to fish. Right. With people begging for stuff. Um, now, but I do think that's a very interesting concept. Thank you. Because to be on the roof on a in it probably was hot. Right. He actually had a uniform he used to give him too, the little shorts. No, you're lying with that. I'm kidding. Um, I believe that he probably never acted on his gay desires. Yeah, I don't know about that. They always act on it. Somewhere, You do know, though, the weekend that the news broke, Fortune was performing at Wise Guys in Utah, Salt Lake City. And she was told after... she was told right before the show that he was in the audience. No. Yes. Did he really? No, he didn't come at. Okay, after he came backstage, but she was told he was in well, the audience. If he didn't, if he hadn't come out at that point, he came out that night. He story, went to Fortune. The story show. gets better. Oh, this is amazing. She, and she said it on my podcast, I but did it not was hear this like story. six months ago. Okay. She said, and this has happened to me too, where you're doing your routine. Yeah. And in the middle of a joke, you suddenly remember that someone's in your audience. It happened to me with my friend who was recently widowed. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm going on this joke about Dateline, like, you know, wanting my husband to be dead or whatever. And I'm like, literally her husband died three months ago from cancer and she's devastated. And now I'm like, do I exit out of this fucking joke? Like, what the fuck? Heather, you know, I just did it. And, um... Yeah, so that's happened. It's happened. I, 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 yeah, I, sure. All of a sudden, you. Yeah. So she, Fortune has a joke. She says something to the effect of that, um, you know, she never got kidnapped because she was a little heavier. Right. And they never snatch the heavier kids or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. So she's halfway through the joke about a child being kidnapped herself. Oh, so she. With. Elizabeth yeah. Smart's dad in the audience. Oh, God. Did she do it? She did it. But can you imagine the rest of her set? She's thinking you're kind of yeah. out of your head because you're thinking. And then he comes out and is like, great show or something. I don't know if she met him. Kelly's saying she remembers that she met him. We can ask her on Saturday. But I, when I've been in that position before, I'm like, now, of course, when the person comes up to you right. after. Are they remembering that 48 minutes prior? No, you probably not. You made a not. kidnapping joke or yeah. a widow joke or whatever. But that's all I can think about when I meet yeah. that person that I went like, fuck, I forgot they were coming to the show. Wow, that's pretty good. Pretty amazing. Um, I just pray for the whole situation. It's Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, I hope the guy's happy. Uh, this is Morgan Stewart. She broke up with her boyfriend. They were the rich kids of Beverly Hills. Now she's, sure. she's the on. star of E!, She's on E! with Justin Martindale. 
they were married. But wait a minute. Who did I just see him dating or liking? Oh, so he right now he's liking Amanda Stan- Stanton's, who's a very little uh, single mom of two from The Bachelor. She's a oh. very popular Bachelor Instagrammer. Okay. And they're posting and liking a lot of things. Okay. When the fuck is Katie and Orlando Bloom going to be married? Are they I not married like yet? I feel like they've been dating forever yeah. and engaged forever. They ha- Do they break up? What is their deal? They're still engaged, right? Yeah. Yeah. Juliana Huff is praised by Brother Derek after revealing I'm not straight. She didn't, re- yeah, but she said, like, I sometimes I feel when I'm fucking my husband, like, I feel like I'm fucking, like, it wasn't like I had lesbian sex or I'm bisexual. It was a we- there was a weird caveat to this story. Oh, right? look at Kelly. Yeah. I really did her homework. And she anyway, gave I'm, me the quote. I'm it fascinated. It said, Juliana said, I told him, you know, I'm not straight, right? And he's like, I'm sorry, what? And I'm like, I'm not, but I choose to be with you. Yeah. It's I, this is like a, a another like Mormon or whatever they are. They are these Huffs are some sort of religious thing, and yeah. she's just completely boring. And that <laughs> this is her way of like trying to be somewhat, you know, like every girl did that, you know, sh- somewhat shocking. Like, and it, she's keeping quiet about about Gabrielle the, Union yes. being fired, but she also was let go. But she also has a variety show coming out. She on has a ABC. Christmas special coming out. Christmas with the Huffs. Where her and her boy, uh, her brother, <laughs> dance around in almost like a romantic way, which is very well, strange. Well, that's like you know what? That's like the Osmonds. The Osmonds and it did worked that too. For them. Yeah, it, and they have a very Osmond kind of. They're you know. I think nice that's what they're going for, and I say and, go for it. I think it ruined her career if she sexed it up a little more back when she could have been a movie star. Remember, they were trying to make her a movie star there for a minute. She could have sexed it up a little more back then. She would have had a, a a better career when that when she was being too a little prudy mm-hmm. and you know wouldn't uh... well remember when she dated Ryan Seacrest yes so they a sat long behind time me ago. yeah at the Chris at um, Chris Humphrey marrying Kim Kardashian wedding oh wow and she was talking about how she can't wait to get married and have a bunch of kids and I looked at him and he goes yeah Seacrest out <laughs> I'm Seacrest out <laughs> yeah. and then I was like. That's interesting because they were like such a hot couple, but they dated for a long time. Yeah, but he didn't had no intention of marrying her, and he still hasn't married anyone. No. Um, Tinsley Mortimer is engaged to Scott. He's the coupon king. Okay, she is a Real Housewives of New York. They've sure. broken up, gotten back together, broken up, gotten back together. They are engaged. She. It has been confirmed by Luanne de Lesseps that she stopped filming. She's not finishing the season. Of Real Housewives to be with him. And um, I said, congratulations. She said, thank you. I tweeted, texted her. Oh, nice. Um, well, I wish them luck. I think I think she really, really, really wants to be married to him more than anything else. Yeah. And I think once he asked her, she better jump on that. And what does a coupon king mean? What does that mean? He makes the coupons or he? He has some coupon thing that's going on. Yeah. Um, let me get to the. Okay, hold on. Matt Lauer. Are you watching the morning show? I'm not. I don't, it's on Apple TV or something. I haven't yes, watched it. No. I've watched like now, two is episodes. He supposed to be playing and I have Matt to catch Lauer, up. Steve uh, Carell. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. And I mean, they're not. It's basically it's just taking elements of all those types of shows, right? Ripped from the headlines and creating a fictional story. Um, but I mean, he has a house in the Hamptons. Yeah. He's similar looking. He has a wife and a couple kids. It's it's really good. I really have to catch up this holiday season. Like all yeah. that stuff, I'm going to load up for the holidays because I'm just behind. But um, how come nobody talks about what seems to be a little bit of plastic surgery on Steve Carell? He oh. went from like being like a you know almost like a cartoony comic face to now he almost looks like a like a model, and he's got like a different nose and different hairline. And di- talk about he's like he's like a Rod tanning. Um, well, I'd, I'd look love, at look at a picture of him let's from, do some from work forty year old that. virgin and look at him now. It's a different face. He could have had a little, um, little slight nose job. Yeah, a baby nose job. I think like he a did. Kim Kardashian baby nose job, totally. Marilyn Monroe baby nose job. Yeah. She's one of the first people. Right. Listen, people, a little change, not a big one, like the girl from Dirty Dancing. That'll ruin you. That, yeah. A little change, a little enhancement can change your career. 
Don't be afraid of it, Dr. Kasabian. Here we go. Do you have pictures of we, the, uh, we put them together. Um, this is even too far. You need to go back before the, the office. office. You need to go 40-year-old virgin. Uh, yeah, 40-year-old virgin. Well, Kiri's got a beard, glasses, gray hair. Yeah. He's not doing a dorky face, and he's not a dorky character. Right. So, yeah, I think he- I'm saying there's definitely I been I also some... think he played up his dorky comedic persona, and then when he's acting as someone that's- like hotter, yeah. Then he can be sexy. Okay. Um, I'm looking at the nose right now. I think it's the same nose. Uh, but once again, Here's I want to say one. that you want to you you have to go back a little bit before. Mm, okay. It's like dork and then John Ham. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Corey Ham is the guy. Who... Um. Yeah. I think it's. Just... Oh, there is a venom now. Look, okay. The nose is exactly the same, Chris. The yeah, hairline. I might. You know, now that I'm looking at, it, I might be wrong, but uh, you know what. Look at the hairline. I think that he was losing his hair. The hairline he, is definitely, yeah. He saved his hairline. That yeah. changed it. Uh-huh. And um, he Just, got some Botox, but not too much, because this is like 15 years later, so he still has a slight wrinkle in the forehead. And I think he helped the bags under his eyes. Yeah. I think he did a slight filler okay. under the eyes. Um, and then the beard helped a lot. Yeah. Do you remember when, you, you mentioned earlier, when J-Lo was on Chelsea Lately? And, yes. uh, you know, Greatest day of my life. somebody yeah. said something along the lines of, I forget, you know, did, did you get plastic surgery or whatever? And she was like, no. I, and she almost, she said, I'm rich now. And when you're rich, you just use like better products and everything. And that's why I look better because I'm rich. And, you know, my moisturizing cream is better than it was when I was poor. And I thought that was an interesting. Well, well I, when I saw yeah. her, I asked her, I go, is it La Creme? Is it La Creme? La yeah. Mer. La Mer. I go, is it La Mer, your face cream? which is like one of the most expensive face creams. And she's like, what? And I go, that cream, is that the way you use? And then she was like, she didn't really answer. Yeah. But this is what I think with J-Lo. I think- Or any of them. Or A, J-Lo doesn't drink or smoke. Yeah, that's a big one. 50 years of not drinking. You know who also looked great? Mitt Romney. Okay? Yes. He's a Mormon who didn't right. drink. Right, yes. He was like 65 running for president, looked about 48. Yeah. So I really think not drinking- I think she, and she's like really strict about the sleep. Mm -hmm. And I think she's just a really healthy person. But if you look at old photos, she, I believe, did some slight altercation to the nose. And she also, I think, does very, very slight filler Botox, very slight, and has been doing it like for a long time so that there isn't any change and she's literally staying the same. Well, there's a picture that came out this morning or yesterday of her getting her phone call that she'd been nominated for Golden Why do Globe. her eyes look so weird? I know. And she's and she looks her, like she could be a Puerto Rican girl rugging at Starbucks in that picture. No, but Zero her, makeup. Okay, her and her brow, eyes look weird, yes. I don't I think she did a filter that made her eyes yeah. like look strange. It almost looked like she her she her pupils were twelve times the size they're supposed to be. I just think she had like sleepy face or something, was you know, because it's she looked it was something weird. I always love when they pretend that they were not like if you're an actor. Let's talk about her being nominated for well, the Did yeah. you see the movie Hustle? I did not. Is it good? I, I heard saw it's good. It. I'd watch it. Peter and I went to go see it. Yeah. We went on Wednesday night at the Agora Theater for anyone that's wondering. It's the Regal Theater. It's uh, only six fifty. Oh wow. on Wednesday. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. And it's slightly fancy. Yeah. It's not waiters coming up, but it's like you can push out the chair. Yeah, okay. okay? No blankets anymore. Right. Just got lice. I don't know what. Anyway, but it's half fancy. Right. And we went, and the first half is like really good. It's one of those movies, almost like Sandra Bullock's 28 Days, where the first half is good, and the second half you're like, mm, who cares? Right. So first half, it's kind of fun, and she is good in it. I could watch her outfits. And all that for days. She has one moment where she gets really pissed at the Asian girl. Is she a stripper in it, or is she like the she no, teaches she's a stripper. the strippers? Oh, okay, she's a stripper, but they they drug people and still get their money. Oh, that's a real yeah, clubs real story, and then yeah. like work with the clubs to up the money, like get their bill up to ten thousand, and then they take like six of it right. and split it among themselves, and then the club takes the other four, and then the guy doesn't fight it because he can. he's cheating his on his wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so um. Anyway, you know, 
you know, but then they had to like make them likable. So like the Asian girl had a, a grandma that she's taking care of, and right. J Lo had uh, a kid. Oh, okay. okay. Sure. A lot of people have kids. Right. You don't have to drug men. Yeah. You know, but to keep your lifestyle uh-huh. in New York. Yeah. Um, and at one point, you know, she the economy breaks and then the, they can't drug the Wall Street guys anymore. So she has to go work at the Gap. I'm oh. like, really? You go from being like a high class mistress slash stripper to the Gap? Like, yeah. you couldn't even like maybe work at like Saks or Neiman's? Right. Or like be a cocktail waitress at like a hotel bar? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, you, it's like all or like no. Or anyway. So she got her nominations. But I was reading all the nominations for the Golden Globes. Yes. And if I was nominated for the Golden Globe. Now, okay. If I was nominated, yeah. I would be like, holy shit, I need to be locked up in a room and watch about 4,000 hours of movies and television because 90% of these things I've never heard of, I've never seen. If I go to this party, I've got to be able to recognize these people that are being nominated. Right. It's like such a spread. I, well, because they do TV and movies on the Golden Globe, so That's you got so, a lot. Like, who is even know, like who? What person? Unless all you do is watch Netflix and go to movies and have every streaming service and every cable service, would you be able to w- enjoy the Golden Globes at this point and know who the fuck they were talking about? No, well, no, but I don't. Yeah, that's why they have nominated people like J Lo because they need. Yeah, they, they're like this is gonna now people will tune in. Because it was what and was it was, was it was it was an award worthy performance probably not but they're gonna not they can nominate some English woman who's in a movie that you know probably is worth it but then you nobody, get out of my house <laughs> right but nobody's gonna watch if she comes to uh, uh to the Golden Globes yeah, exactly you know what I mean so mm-hmm. they have to nominate those type of people I I'm all for get it get the big stars that me too now I'll watch the Golden Globes because I want to see those people but. The foreign press are a bunch of old men. Right. So, you know, like The Irishman, that movie, it was really good. Yeah. But I watched it going, God, my dad would really like this movie. Too bad it's not here. Yeah. (laughs) I think a lot of people in watching that, if they're younger, they might not be as interested in the actual story. Yeah. Because they're not familiar with the story of Jimmy Hoffa. But if you watch it, it's really good. And it's like the costume designing. It's like, it's great. And of course, it's great. You you love watching those guys. Yeah. But, the, uh, but it should be nominated. But I'm also saying then those same people that nominate that then see some other stuff and they're like, nah, like they're, right. it doesn't appeal to them because that's not their genre, whatever. I totally agree. Kevin Spacey. Yeah. What do you think of his weirdness? Oh, you well, know what we forgot to mention is when I had... Alex Cap on my show, she dated Kevin Spacey. Oh, really? My friend Alex Cap was on my show uh, because she dated the preppy murderer. Yeah. And she was part of the documentary. And before we talked on the show, I'm like, remember when you told me that you dated Kevin Spacey when we were at the Groundlings? And that was before he was out and everything. Yeah. And then she told me some stuff about when they dated, which makes a lot of sense now, which I won't reveal. But... Um, uh, it all made sense when he when all this stuff came out. I remember what she had told me back, and I was like, mm, "Yeah, yeah." He's one of the ones who doesn't come back. He can't like that. Louis coming back, and some of them, are, you know, Olivia Jade's back on YouTube. So some of the controversial people are coming back. He will not be able to come back, and Matt Lauer will not be able to come back. So um, I don't know what you do now. You know, just I guess retire and on your. Whatever you made. I can't even have a theater school because that's so pervy. No, he had one already. <laughs> yeah, he did. James Franco and him, they all had pervy theater schools. So, But theater school, yeah, we've talked about this before. It, it's all pervy. It's just Even if you're in it, like scene study, you just did a scene study with uh, the hottest person in the in the, in the class. Nobody chose the, the the weird person to do scene study okay, with. Speaking of SNL, I like, you know, it's rare oh, that I will. watch it, but my friend Liz sent me... The Will Ferrell acting. The, yeah. Oh my God, the high school acting thing. And she's yeah. like, Heather, watch this. So there's this this sketch that Will Ferrell did that was so funny. Let's look it up. It's called Double Casted or something. But it's like a bunch of high school theater kids waiting to get the list of the latest play. Yeah. And he's playing the most creepy, awful, mind-fucking like, yeah. drama teacher that we've all had. And 
this one, he goes, one senior girl that's been in everything and thinks she deserves the lead is going to be really disappointed. <laughs> that exact thing <laughs> happened to me at my high school yeah. with the Ave Maria, okay? I, everyone knew I was going to get to sing the Ave Maria. Right. And three people were going to get to sing it. And I knew it was going to be this one girl for sure. That, Is like, this like a really Christmas concert or something? Or? Our graduation. Oh. Three girls get picked. Yeah. I was pretty confident by sophomore year. It's definitely this one girl, mm -hmm. Dina, because she was so good. And definitely me. Right. And then the third was, could be a handful of other singers. Okay. okay? Um, I sing it. And in an audition, I had to audition, yeah. and the class had to vote for me. Okay, oh. the music class. So it's more of a popularity thing. It gets worse. Oh no! <laughs> he told me like I shouldn't be able to take this breath. Okay, and I took a breath so that I could like really kill the ending of oh. the Latin. And I guess to him, because we had like a weird relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That seemed to have pissed him off. I had no idea. Everyone's like, you did great. You know, all my friends. And they announced it over the loudspeaker. Oh, over the loudspeaker? Yes. The nice. girls still will be singing the Ave Maria. Dina, whatever her last name was. Kelly Alexi, who also had a good voice. Okay. So I wasn't surprised. I thought she was some competition. She had a lot. It seems like they just had a larger lung capacity than you. No, see she was. We all had different voices. Yeah. I could do okay. it. Okay. Yeah. And then they announced the last girl. Who is it? It was this girl. I'm not going to say her name. She was a good friend of mine, but no way was she Better anywhere singer. near the singing that I could do. So why did she get it? Her dad was um, a TV director, uh, and I believe that the music teacher wanted, wanted to jump ship. Yeah, wanted to be on CSI Miami. A hundred percent. Yeah. But, I mean, everybody turned around and looked at me, and it was like, now I'm a senior. You know, now I'm like, now I'm not the person I was freshman. I'm like, are you fucking, like, I was fucking pissed. Right. And I'm like, how did this happen? Everyone's like, I voted for you, I voted for you. And we all voted for you. Like, there's no way, none of them voted for the TV director girl's daughter. Right. Nobody did. Except maybe like herself, you know, whatever. And um, so I walked in there and I'm like, what? I, I really can't believe that everybody said that. And he goes, they did. But I had the final decision. And you thought you were going to get it. So you didn't. Oh. I mean, exactly the Will Ferrell yeah. bit. I was like, oh. I mean, it fucking killed me. Yeah, I'm surprised you were able to come back from that. You went on to have a nice career. I mean, it's <laughs> one of the biggest fuck yous that have ever happened in have my life. Have any of those other three people went on to any type of success in, no, in music? Okay, nothing. And I then told myself, one day they will ask me to be come. the the alumni speaker at the graduation. Has that happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like I'm still holding out. You're still waiting for that. You're still waiting to go to Art by yeah. Basel and and the, time's uh, running out. Yeah, and, and um, and then when McKinsey went there, I thought there's a chance now. Yeah, until they um, they kept saying to Peter, we stop trying to give her books away for your golf tournament. We oh, cannot be associated with yeah. her brand, and. Uh, here you are. I believe, though, there's been some people in administration that have changed. Uh -huh. A couple of the nuns have passed. And I'm thinking there's still a chance oh. that they might call me. Because the last person that spoke at the graduation, um, you know. Who was it? It was just a, a, like a lawyer. Yeah. You know, they always just pick Big like a deal. lawyer or a doctor. Not somebody that's yeah. like changing people's lives through Juicy Scoop. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is, you're touching more lives than, than I mean, a doctor or a lawyer. A, a doctor I can't compete with. Yeah. But I mean, and and if it was Kim Kardashian, yes, pick Kim right. Kardashian. She but did. like a guy like me, like, I, like when I, I could have driven around knowing law and knowing, uh, you know, uh, how to be a, a doctor. Yeah. But I didn't know Tinsley Mortimer was marrying a coupon king. But now because of you, I know that. 
And so I'll go know, to, and yeah. you know that she's 43. Yeah. And she has frozen eggs. Right. And she really wants to be a mom. But I And she's this is her chance. Okay. And it's it's worth giving up housewives for. And I'm and, I, and I'm and I'm being serious about this. I believe these are the things no matter how smart you think you are choose to be. When you're out in a social atmosphere, social setting, a party perhaps, like we're going to go to on Saturday. More people will be talking about the fact that Tinsley Mortimer is 43 and what what else? What uh, Frozen eggs, but she really wants to be <laughs> okay. a mom. And she's married, uh, marrying Coupon King. These yeah. are what people would rather talk about than a doctor or a lawyer has to say. Yeah. So it is important to know this stuff, and you should be speaking at next yes. year's graduation. Would you like to sing, <laughs> sing her a little bit? Of Ave Maria? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I've heard you sing this, and you're pretty good. I'm pretty, I, didn't, I, I think actually, I've done it on the show yeah, a few times, actually. Yeah. Let's go. Give it to us. Because okay. it is a Christmas song, kind of. Hold on. Okay. Now, there's two different ways I can do it. I okay. I can do it the opera way, or I can do it like the lower way. Let's try the... What, what's easier okay. for you? Well, I'll do the lower way first. Okay. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Maria, gracia plena. Now... That's, that's not, pretty that's good. Not when I've been singing a yeah. lot. That's not no, bad at all. The opera way is, I don't even know if I can do it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 It's not as good. Hold on. Hey, hold on. <laughs> it's <laughs> tough. It. It's tough to okay. get that note. Uh, okay. It's like you do this like back way. Okay. Okay. Ave Maria. This is not good. No, it's it wasn't as, bad. It, it was not bad. Be. I haven't done that opera way in like yeah. 20 years, but I that... used to be able to do it the opera way. So, so what I way did you do it hot. for the audition? I did it the opera way oh. so that like I could have every note and it would be fine. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that st- about that story. Allison Mack. Oh, yeah. This is that whole. N- That's her? That's Allison Mack? That is Allison Mack. And. That is the, the guy Rainier from Nexium guy. or whatever. And they did a Lifetime movie on this that yeah. finally fucking explained it. And it was in the perspective of um, the English actress from Dynasty. What Joan Collins. No, the the pretty blonde. She was actually like a prince, a real oh, princess. Oh, Catherine Oxenberg. Yes. Her daughter got sucked into it. Married to Maxwell Caulfield. Yes. From Grease 2, <laughs> star of Grease 2. <laughs> I yes. want a cool yeah, rider, yeah, yeah. a cool <laughs> rider. One. And if it's cool enough, he can burn me through and through. Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, I want a rider, that too. A lot Actual. of people don't know the songs from Grease 2. No, I didn't. Isn't there a Let's Bowl tonight? Isn't We're that a song? We're going to bowl, bowl tonight. I feel like I bought the VHS tape of that, yeah. and that's why I know the Grease 2 The one. only one who went from uh, the Grease 1 to Grease 2 was um, that girl who played the beauty school dropout. Oh, yeah. She was in both, but yeah, she's the only she one. Yeah, she stayed, and she was like a fifth-year senior at the yeah, high school or right. something. Okay. Um. Yeah, and you know that was Michelle Pfeiffer. Yes, of course. I just said that. Yeah, she Michelle was the Pfeiffer. greaser. Yeah, remember? right. And he then was the clean cut Australian. They, they, they switched to flip the script on that one. On the yeah. I mean, no comparison, but still watched it a billion yeah. times. Anyway, have you seen uh, that John Travolta? Speaking of Greece, has gone. He's wig free now. He's go, go, just bald. And oh, thank God. Yeah, Love just it. took it off. I know it looks a hundred times better, but. You know, I think he, he you kind of got to gradually go into that. He just went one day, the that wig was too is gone. Shocking yeah. for you. Um, I mean, this this was a year of cults, sex trafficking, yeah, pedophilia, a lot of yeah, dirty. I feel like sexual harassment and and rape of adults in entertainment was 2018. It was actually, yeah, and 2019. Is the year of sex trafficking among rich people. Sex trafficking among, re- really? Well, like this was one... sex trafficking, and this was like wealthy people yeah. doing it. And Epstein was wealthy people doing it. Yeah. I've told you my philosophy on Epstein, have I not? Of Jeffrey Epstein? This is what I think. Yeah. Is what we're going to, if we ever find out, this is what I think happened. Okay. I think 
he would recruit these young, pretty girls. Uh-huh. He would get these very powerful rich men to come to his parties at his house on his island. Right. At these parties, just like you might go to the Playboy Mansion or whatever, mm-hmm. there's hot girls all around. Yeah. The hot girls are all around. They're 15, 16, 17, 18, but they look 18. They look 20. You know, like right. I don't I don't think there was nine-year-olds, okay? No. No, and I don't think there, that, was, there was. Those girls flirt with these guys and have sex with them and have sexual play. Uh, and then I think then he filmed it, taped it. I got something on and you. And then went to these rich men and said, here, you remember last night when – you had sex with this girl yeah. or she blew you? Well, she's 16. Right. And here's the video. Now give me $5 million. Really? Now invest in my company. Yeah. I think that's where all his money came from. So where are all these videotapes and stuff? Don't you think they could find them somewhere? Like, if didn't they raid the island? And That's you know? where you may never find it. Yeah. Because all the powerful people are on it, know about it, doing it. Yeah. They got it. They paid off this person. They paid off this guard. They got him dead. That's what I think. All right. I could. Yeah, I don't. I I hope you know that that it's not more sinister than that. There's a group of people that think it's way more sinister, like right baby stuff and that yeah, kind of creepy, like right. culty stuff. But my personal opinion, everything I've read, that's what I think, and that's what explains why he had so much money and why people would continue to invest in him and invite him to places and just, like, keep your enemy on your good side. Right. I think I know a girl who went to Pedophile Island. I I think I know a girl. She wasn't young. She was probably 22, but I think she had taken a few trips there. Yeah. I remember her telling me, like, things about, not no names specifically, but went to this island of a rich guy off the coast of Puerto Rico, you know, <sighs> partied with people. And I think, looking back on it now, that she was talking about that place. You know, and that could have been part of the scam where he had young women that were of age. Yeah. Mixed in with ones oh, that were. That's weren't. how you would do it. Cause, yeah. And then, and those girls were being sex trafficked and. And even if they were over 18, could have still been sex trafficked and not and being lured into doing this stuff and being and feeling very trapped about it. But no, Jeffrey Epstein did not make three hundred dollars a pop as a pimp. Like, yeah. no, that's not how he got rich. Right. That's it's a fascinating what I think. story. Cuba. What do you think about his groping problems? Cuba Goody Jr. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, anybody who grew up in the Valley or, you know, like I did, and I didn't grow up in it, but uh, I mean, Cu- I would see Cuba at a bar. Yeah. At two, you know, uh, but, but anytime with closing time, Cuba would be at, you know, Fox and the Hound or any of them looking around for women. So he's notorious looking for ladies. So yeah, I, this doesn't surprise me that he's a little gropey. Do you gropey. think he's done? Uh, Probably. It's probably going to be tough for him. I mean, just, yeah, yeah, I think he's done. Just I when, think he is too, because yeah. he really hasn't been doing that much anyway. I mean, he had kind of like a little bit of a resurgence playing OJ in the, in the FX uh, thing, and he was very good in it, actually, I thought. Oh, yeah. Um, and then all this stuff came out, and, you know, he's one of those guys that doesn't back down either. He's saying, I didn't do any of this, and then more and more women are coming out, and so he's he's... It's going to be tough. So you might never see snow dogs, too. Thank Joe you. Joe Giudici. Yeah. He is in Italy. He could not get out here. I know. But it looks, like it's been, it looks like he's treating him well. He looks better than he's ever looked. He's thin. He's fit. Um, I My prediction is that they won't get divorced anytime soon until Teresa actually it falls in love with someone and therefore then will want to pursue that and get married on the show and then she will divorce them but she'll play along for now do you think uh andy cohen wants the co-hosting job with hoda and it, so he was doing it for quite yes. some time well well now but what he what he was doing wrong and i think it was a mistake on his part Ooh. i watched it a lot the 10 o'clock hour and he's good but he was do, he was going way way 
to now I'm not I don't have any problem with gay, but I understand the audience that's watching the Today Show does not want to hear about. He was like telling like hardcore details about last night I went out and this hot guy I was so into him mm. and and I think they were like mm, not don't do that at ten o'clock and and that's why he won't get that job. He was going too deep into. Do you like, think he was trying to get the job or he was just replacing Jenna? He was he was replacing Jenna while she was, while pregnant, was pregnant, but he wanted that job. He wants that job bad. And he was going a little too hardcore on being out. I was out last night, and this hot guy came up to me, and I grabbed his ass, things like that. And even, even uh, you know, uh, Hoda was like, oh, boy, this is not what, you know, grandma wants to hear. Well, also, I think hour. there's going to be a point where at some point people are going to be like, you know, you have the hot guys behind the bar and this and that. It's a little bit, it's a little sexual harassment because- right. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's we're there yet, but eventually if we're going to really like play this across the field and everyone's equal, right. then that that's a bit much. Well, look, I mean, you know? watch his face tried to do it, Terry Crews, and everyone's like, oh, just punch the guy in the face. He's like, why should I punch the guy in the face? Why is this any different than anything? Yeah. The guy grabbed my dick at a party, and I, I shouldn't have to punch him in the face. Right. Like, no, but he shouldn't be grabbing my dick at the party. You're missing the point. I loved that whole Terry yeah. Crews thing. Because, again, what people didn't realize is, like, wait a minute. This is a big agent that did it. Right. And you could fuck up my career. You could, you know, um, keep me from getting stuff because you, because you think I'm going to tell. Right. You know, I mean, that's the other thing. It's like, you know, so I was so happy that he that he came out with that whole thing. Yeah, it was And great. exposed it. Okay. This is Todd Chrisley. Sure. His wife, wow, well, he had all these legal issues. He doesn't talk to his oldest daughter. The oldest daughter said that he was trying to um, blackmail her with uh, sex tapes that she was having sex with different guys from The Bachelor. Oh. And he he didn't say he had the sex tapes, but he did tweet about her being kind of promiscuous. Yeah. Anyway, it's all over. The show's back on. Who cares? Oh, yeah. Well, if it's a hit, it's a hit, you know? I mean, Chris Lee knows best. Is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah. He does know best, I guess. But he's like this guy who, smart, right? He's obviously gay. Well, we don't know that. We can't say that, that. yeah. We don't know that. Well, we know that. I mean, listen. But if he came out tomorrow, not one person on the planet would be surprised. They talk about having sex all the time, him and Julie, and how he wants his kids out so he can get with Julie. And, but he's... Got a fun, flamboyant personality. He likes fashion. He's hilarious. If you could right. have your gay best friend who also wants to fuck you all the time. That's a pretty good mix. Yeah. And you get to be on TV. <laughs> right. All right. I mean. Yeah. I guess it works for them. If it, then... if it works, it works. Yeah. I I feel that. If he ever did step out of the marriage, whether it was with females or males, we absolutely would have heard about it by now. I, I agree. So, so I, I believe what Chris Lee says. Okay. Um, Bradley Cooper left his ugly baby mama. I mean, is she not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen in your life? Ever seen in my is life. Is not the best body. No, I got to give you, I, I got to go with that other one. Who? Emily Ratajanowski, the one who's oh, on. Oh, I thought that was her. No. This is like They're the same very person. Similar type, but that girl's got, you know, she's always dancing this around. This girl is so eating. gorgeous. It's like she just got out of the shower. She let her hair dry and like she just put on some lotion. That's yeah. it. She oh. Doesn't, she doesn't have lashes. She didn't have right. to fill her brows. I mean,. But they're divorced now, right? Or they I don't know that they ever got married, but she left him. Now now how once again I'd like to talk about the fact that nobody seems to talk about how uh Bradley Cooper's hairline seems to be growing forward <laughs> instead of backward. I, I think get, you're right. Want to name four guys whose hairline is growing forward instead of backward. Okay. Chris Evans, the guy who plays Captain America, B- Bradley Cooper, uh Kevin uh the guy we just spoke of, uh uh Carell, the Steve Carell. Yeah. And uh, Ed Helms. All of them, all of their hairlines are growing forward instead of backward. I don't know who's doing it. I don't know if it's something they place in just for photo ops like this, mm-hmm. or if it and it comes out later. You know what it is, Chris? Because you have an unflawed hairline. I do. Yes. That's like your little dig. 
I know, and I've often been <laughs> accused because I have an unflawed hairline and I'm older. I've often been accused of like a of being wig. a bit of hater. Uh, yeah, no, be, like having a wig on. Oh, wig people on. have said it. But I also feel like you want to call out other people. Yeah, like, but I if I'm gonna have to say, have some young punk on Twitter go, "Hey, nice wig, old man," I'm then you're gonna have to. I've had get it people too. accuse me of nice weave, bitch. Yeah. And neither one of I could, I have not one uh, hair extension. Exactly, and I could say that I don't have a wig and you don't have a weave. That's right. Yeah. So fuck all you. But okay, boomer. People I'm say, also okay, okay with people that get weaves. And if I was, if my husband, you know, was an actor and you have everything at your fingertips, and some guy can come over the house and weave a couple hairs in his hairline while yeah. he watches a show at our home, and okay. no one has to know about so it. So that's what it is. A guy could get a weave too, and like a no, that these, short no, that well, hair. These are um, the implants, whatever called the yeah. threading or whatever it is right. that they do. Okay. So good for him. What they broke up finally? Yeah, they finally broke up. Yeah. What this yeah. is? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a guy who grows old gracefully. You don't see him fucking around. What is Larry King? <laughs> Larry King. And and his very pretty wife. And his very pretty wife. Yeah. Um, they were married for a long time. Oh, my God. They were married for so long. And yeah. they broke up many years ago because they had two boys. And she apparently was hooking up with, with a baseball coach. Allegedly with a, the with a Little League baseball yeah. coach. But he, then they got back together. Right. I want to say they had like some podcast. He does, He still has one. It, yeah, he has like a Larry King She's not on line. it anymore. No. Um, it's finally over for them. Yeah. Amazing. Right. <laughs> Poor Larry King. Well, he's been married about eight times, I think, so. No. Oh, we already talked about them. Yeah. Kylie, apparently Kylie and, um, what's his name? Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Yeah. He, they're hanging out. They're back together. I don't oh, know. Okay, good. Who cares? They're cute. Whatever. Yeah. They made a cute they baby. They are cute. I don't know. Kenya, she's from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, she's officially broken up with her baby daddy, right? Her husband. I, I'm I'm shocked that, that you have a clip from the Tamron Hall show. Has anybody watched that thing? Tamron Hall has her own like daytime talk I show. I don't know. Are you watching? Well, it? Well, what happened was you the know Kelly... her dad was um a uh, a uh, something from. <laughs> <laughs> what was he? <laughs> no, the way the commercial started was just like. I'm the daughter of a some type of farmer in Texas. Oh yeah. I'm and it's like, well, where do you think anybody came besides right. Jenna Bush? Exactly. Everybody came from right. not Everyone's parents. Not were... everybody was. I mean, the only what? How would it be interesting? I'm the daughter of the president of the grant. You know, my yeah. grandfather was like she's the only one that most people come from something not. Um, but anyway, Kelly Clarkson show is a hit, and it, it's do- doing very well. And her show is not. And I think on the same time, and she's very angry that her show has plummeted in the ratings, while Kelly Clarkson's has gone through the roof. I'm not surprised Kelly Clarkson's is killing it. Yeah, because picked up for another two seasons. Or she can sing any song. Yeah, it's kind of like Ellen. I just think either you have a show that is really fucking juicy shit, right. like Wendy Williams. Or you're doing like crime stuff, or if I ever get my show, it'd be a little of both. Or you are just bringing a joy on somebody's face at the retirement yeah. hotel, and you're dancing like Ellen, and, and you're fully, singing and, like Kelly, and, and fully went like you know uh, she embraced her body type now, and like I'm backstage eating donuts. She doesn't, t- doesn't talk about like losing weight or anything anymore. And she's a mom. I mean, she's. She was a perfect choice. Perfect choice. And I'm happy that it's doing so well. Yeah. Um, Pete Davidson is dating Kaya Gerber. Kaya Cindy Gerber. Cindy Crawford's doppelganger child. Yes. And this is my dream and my prediction. Okay. It's not a prediction. It's a secreting that I'm putting out in the universe. Right. I'd like her to get knocked up with this baby. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because I read an article yesterday saying the parents are are very scared that he'll knock her up. I'm like, well, that's how sex works. Like, yeah, any. This is why I want her to get knocked up. First of all, if she gets knocked up, she's having the baby. Because the reason, you know, what is she? She's not in college. A yeah. lot of women can't have the baby because I'm in college. I have a job. Oh my God, I'm right. a model. I'll, I'm just starting to model. I'll never get back on the track if I take nine months off. Doesn't matter. You can come back nine months. Look at Kylie Jenner. Have Pete Davidson's baby. You know your body's going to bounce right back. Your mom had the same body. Right. I I just would like to see it happen. I don't think it's a great idea. 
If I was Cindy, I wouldn't be praying for it. But for me, as someone watching this happen, uh-huh. I had a vision, and I want it to happen. I think this one's doesn't. It's over soon. I think, like all Pete Davidsons, this one goes another couple of weeks. Yeah, it's nice. I, 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 I've, I feel it's interesting that everyone talks about how ugly he is, but I don't find him ugly. I see like he's an attra- he's obviously an attractive guy. Like he looks like what like model scout, you know, like if you watch those seals ads for like Prada, they look like him, you know, with Whether skinny, with big hunt, lips and hungry. Yeah. But when I had Jax Taylor on, he said you have to be so thin to be a male model. Oh, like yeah. He was starving. Oh, and he to- still couldn't fit in like the model pants. Yeah. So it's he does sort of look like that. I think. Are we done? Are we done with everything? Oh, so the Italian mob uh-huh. is open to gay members as long as they don't parade it in public. <laughs> well, isn't that like everything? <laughs> isn't that kind of like what they tell everybody? Just don't parade it around. Anyway, I thought this was great. In yeah. case, like, I just was like, imagine if, like, you know, oh, wonder what club it could join. I think uh, you could be. I- you could be a gay, mo- a gay mobster. I think you're missing the the real story on this page is pigeon spotted wearing tiny cowboy hats in Vegas. <laughs> slutty. What is that? Will you look even, that up? Even the slutty, even pigeons get slutty when they go into, woohoo, we're having a weekend in Vegas wearing cowboy hats. Oh my God, that's on the cover of the New York Post above our thing. Pigeon spotting wearing tiny cowboy hats. Oh my God, look, in this other one, college admission scam. Prosecutor benefited from his own life of privilege. Of course. Yeah, so that's amazing. Oh, my pigeons God. Pigeons wearing hats. That, uh, that's that's a... immediately clear why the pigeons had hats on. <laughs> they were at a bachelor bread party. It's fucking <laughs> Vegas. That's why. Wait, this is so funny. Wait, <laughs> it, wait, let me read. Let me... Hold on. Hold on, just grabbing it to me. It says... Um, it was not immediate clear, immediately clear why the pigeons. Well, why would it be immediately clear? Oh no, <laughs> had on, had hats on, or who was responsible for the stunt? Some social media users pointed out that the national final rodeo was going on in Las Vegas. But how'd you get the I, hat on the little pigeon? I think that it was a, exactly what you said. Yeah. I think it was a bachelor party of a pigeon that finally <laughs> finally met she, a man. And she had like flown all over the world <laughs> fucking different guys. Don't they fly yeah. really long? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was trying to agree with you on pigeon. Yeah. And then just finally was like, I'm doing it, girl. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you Vegas. Woo! And then she got everyone those hats, you know, bedazzled hats. Pink. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That is great. Well, we kind of talked about the Golden yeah, Globe we nominations. A bit. Yeah. Chris, well, we did two. How, many, how long did we do? Oh, great. Oh, geez. So we got two shows out of you today. Wow. I have You're to welcome. thank you for being such a great friend. Thank the you. Best guest ever on Juicy Scoop. 400th episode. We've done it for over four years. Um, of course, you have your own very successful podcast called Cover to Cover. Cover to Cover, yeah. Please listen. Many of I've our... taken all your, uh, yeah, and I don't meet one person who's not a juicy scooper and also a Cover to Cover. So I appreciate lovely your 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 love. And then of course, Chris travels all over and does great shows everywhere. I'll be in Minneapolis, Minnesota, at the House of Comedy, December nineteenth to the twenty first. And then Howie Mandel Comedy Club in Atlantic City. Have you been to that no, yet? No, but that sounds fun. You know, Craig yeah. Shoemaker just did it. Yeah. If they do it during the week. You do shows Monday through Thursday. One show a night. Okay. It's like 2,000 seats. Yeah, well, good. Gigantic. Tell me how it goes. Yeah. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. And then back on Long Island, Governor's McGuire's. You know. Frangiola.com is all my dates. Go check it out. Chris, what a year it's been. It has been. Yeah. Did you, have you done your, your decade challenge, your uh, do we have to do that again? Didn't we just do that? No, because it's end, like the decade's ending in a couple of days. Oh, that's why that came back yeah. around. I was like, didn't we just do the 10-year thing? No, this is the decade is over. So you, what? where were you on 2000, what, 2010? Nine. And now it's 2020. So 2010, we were still on Chelsea Lately, right? No, it was like the height of Chelsea. Yeah, it was like the, the height the of Chelsea Lately. The fun of Chelsea That's lately. why I didn't want to post it because most people's – that it gets better. They're like, here I was here and here I was here. So we'd be like on a private jet and now 
you know, I'm uh, doing a podcast in Koreatown. So mine went, you know, <laughs> ebbs and flows. <laughs> Well, okay, I'll find I'll have to find a photo. I I think I, yeah, we definitely have photos together. I could we have a good one of us in Australia. That had to be 2010, right? Australia. Yeah, it was Japan. Around yeah. then, yeah. Right. Yeah, well, we've been through a lot. Well, everyone, mm-hmm. Saturday thank I'll you. we'll talk all about it at, at, yes. out, without microphones. Yes. A lot Follow of old a lot of old Chelsea lately people coming, a lot of it's yeah. going to be fun. It'll be super fun. Yeah. Thank you, honey.